Hi, I'm Mike Oda, the In Group in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the new arrival video for November 16, 2022. A ton of new arrivals to show you guys. We're getting ready for the holidays, so manufacturers are pumping them out. I also have a huge restock from Speaker's Corner. Also, I'm doing two live streams on Whatnot this Sunday. Click the link below, go to our page. You can see what time each stream is in your area. I'm going to start the morning with a jazz only live stream that starts at 11 o'clock Arizona time. And I think I've got this set for five o'clock Arizona time. This is mostly just Pink Floyd records. Uh, I'll give you a little preview. It's about half Pink Floyd. It's going to be all rock. It's mainly like Pink Floyd, Black Sabbath, David Bowie, Smoke and Auction. It's a consignment that I took on because it was such cool stuff. I couldn't, couldn't. Couldn't refuse. Let's start with this week's pre-orders, and there are a lot. So I put up the Van Halen Mobile Fidelity One Step pre-orders because I think we're getting closer. Uh, when I was in Sebastopol, they kind of told me that Van Halen probably was going to be next year. We're getting close to next year. Uh, we're starting to get quantities, so that means we're getting closer. I really feel, I don't have any knowledge of this, I feel like we're going to be starting to put these out 2023. I got them on the website. They are now available for pre-order. Mobile Fidelity One Step, uh, Van Halen One, Two, Diver Down, 1984, Fair Warning, and Women and Children First. And I've got the matching SACD. Uh, Donald Byrd. This is a live concert from 1973, Cooking with Blue Note. That is coming December 9th. The big one, this is huge, is the Rolling Stones and Mono. It is a repress of the numbered box set. They did a 10,000 limited edition numbered box set some odd years back. Uh, went out of print. When it came back in print, or excuse me, went out of print. When it went out of print, I've seen copies going between $1,000 and $1,500. It was a very expensive, very desirable box. Fantastic sounding. It's really well loved sonically. It's a great box. How do you repress a limited edition, you know, box set that they only are made 10,000 of them and they're numbered? Well, you make the vinyl colored. You charge a little bit more, which makes sense. 2022, inflation, things cost more. You charge a little bit, but you make a limited edition colored vinyl version. But this is a limited edition as well. I don't have quantities on it, but it is limited edition. So that actually comes out January 20th. But although it costs a little bit more, it's still significantly better than the Grand Plus you were paying a couple of months ago before rumors started swirling about this. So the Stones in Mono, big title. I think that's probably the biggest one. Van Morrison's new album, Moving On. Skiffle, that is March 10th of next year. That's up for pre-order. This, I think, is kind of like one of my favorite snuck in just later uh, earlier today. That is John Lee Hooker's Burning. Probably one of my favorite John Lee Hooker's album John Lee Hooker albums because it's got boom boom on it this is weird I don't know exactly all the details but in the description it says remastered from the analog master tapes doesn't say by who but it also references that they went back and put a tip on jacket it seems kind of like the audio file ish production that's becoming more and com more and more common now which is fantastic it's a great album. It's extremely hard to find an original of that album in clean shape. They were played to death. But, yeah. So, I'll show you the whatnot, too, by the way, at the end. There's seven titles that are coming out this week that I haven't got yet. And I think that's just because everybody's running a little bit behind because everybody's pumping out record store day stuff this week. So, shipping is a little bit slow. Although, I did get a massive amount of stuff. These are pretty big titles I need to tell you guys about. The both Blue Note Classic titles will be here later this week. That is the uh, Andrew Hill Pointed Departure and the uh, Gretchen Monclore the Third, the new uh, Verve series title, uh, Bill Evans at Town Hall. That's the all analog uh, stuff that has been coming out. That's the latest title. Uh, the repress of Nirvana's In Utero. These are all pre orders. They're all still available on the website as pre orders, but like I said, they're not coming till later on this week. And Kiss, Creatures of the Night. It's the standard, I think it's a deluxe edition, and there might be like a super deluxe box that's coming out on that as well. 
And then uh, Elvin Jones, live at Pookie's Club. Looking forward to that, actually, too. Live concert. All later this week. Okay, so let's start with the biggest new arrival of the week. Probably the biggest new arrival, audiophile arrival of the year, just because it is the greatest selling album of all time, and that is Michael Jackson's Thriller. Did a review of this. I think it's fantastic. The Mobile Fidelity One Step. You can check out my shootout video I did of this. Unbelievable, great sounding record. Uh, listen to my thoughts on this. If you're kind of on the fence, you want to kind of hear what this is like, what it sounds like, what you're buying, listen to my video. Give you a good idea. Also, SACD. People say to me all the time, they're like, Mike, should I, this is DSD, why should I get... Well, first of all, there is some differences, and I just want to mention that because I know the comments are going to roll in. This was mastered by Sean Britton. This was mastered by Krieg Wunderlich. This is DSD. This is quad DSD, four times DSD. Significantly higher sample rate than this. This is such a high sampling rate that many, many, many mastering engineers have said that quad DSD is pretty indistinguishable from analog tape. I don't want to rehash that but there is a difference between what's on here and what's on here because like i said two different resolutions and two different mastering engineers yeah sean Britton on this and it doesn't say but krieg is pretty much the guy who generally does all of uh the one steps and the vinyl cutting and he you know i talked to him when i was there he was the one that did this pretty confident he was so yeah mobile fidelity one step they're in hand and they're going to ship, you know, now. So uh, if you're local, you can pick them up Friday, which is the release date. Otherwise, we're going to start shipping them right away. Unfortunately, you're still not going to get them until somewhat after the release date. But that's the case pretty much anyways, no matter where you get it. Dermont Kennedy. This is the indie exclusive signed CD. And that's kind of cool because it's actually signed directly on the front. You can see it. So, include signed CD booklet. A lot of time they give those signed inserts out as, like, inserts that are in the CD. But that's neat because you can see it if you're a fan. Never thought I'd be talking about this. It's 2022. Uh, the new single by Queen with Freddie Mercury. Uh, this was released a little bit, like, a month or two ago. But uh, we've got Face It Alone. Seven-inch single. This was, like, a limited one time deal only. You're not going to see this forever. Face It Alone, side one, and you get the karaoke version, side two. I don't know who... I wouldn't do personally. I can't sing whatsoever, but I personally don't think I would attempt Freddie Mercury karaoke. You kind of probably would make a fool of yourself. I would imagine he's a tough act to follow. Okay. This week's new arrivals. We've got Slaughter. Strapato. This is bicolored vinyl. So yeah, this week's King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard. I feel like I showed this, oh, never mind. This is the Edge of Waterfall edition. So this is a variant of last week's King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard copy of Changes. It's kind of comical to me at this point how many times, actually, this is a unique week, folks, because not only do we have our monthly King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard. We also have our monthly Neil Young simultaneously at the same time. So I'll show you that in a minute. But yeah, this is the Waterfall Edition. I love this series. Check them out. The new Candid titles, Thick Heavy Jackets. They're all so far remastered by Bernie Grumman from the original analog tapes. This is Jazz Reunion, Pee Wee Russell and Coleman Hawkins with Joe Jones, Bob Brookmeyer. But yeah, there you go. The Candid series is great. I think this is maybe seven, eight of these. They did a couple of mono exclusives for Record Store Day. There's a Thelonious Monk in this series that's coming out for Record Store Day. That's going to be probably pretty desirable. Here is that Neil Young with Crazy Horse I was talking about. So... Always go to the back. Sparse code. Mastered from the original analog tape. We've got two versions of it. 
We've got the clear vinyl Indie Store exclusive, and we've got the black vinyl. As you can see here, let's see if we can get the camera to focus in on the old Neil Young sparse code. We have mastered from the original analog tapes. Or, yeah. Also, uh, 10 songs, 2 LPs, 12 page booklet. Produced by Neil Young and Rick Rubin. Neil Young and Crazy Horse World Record is the name of this album. Okay. Ooh, that's a good one. Let's see. Polvo in Prism. This is 2 LP limited edition opaque yellow vinyl on Merge Records. Comes with a download card as well. Fantastic. The Elvis soundtrack. And actually, I hope they include some of the... I know they did in the digital version. There was some Elvis... You know, this has... Let me see. Yeah, this looks pretty good. This has got some of the... Like the Doja Cat, Casey Musgrave, Stevie Nicks, Chris Isaac... The Tame Impala. Yeah, this is kind of a hodgepodge of everything. The Don't Fly Away, Panu Remix. But the vinyl version of Elvis, the movie soundtrack. Fantastic movie. I saw it in the theater twice. It was a movie that I anticipated to absolutely suck. And it didn't, which was fantastic. I had such uh, low, low, low expectations. And it was actually really good. Oh, this is a good thing to have in the store, especially right before the holidays. Diamonds and Rhinestones, this is a greatest hit collection of for Dolly Parton. Dolly sells extremely well. And this is, you know, Jolene, 9 to 5. This is I Will Always Love You. This is a real solid comp. This is going to be pretty desirable. This is one of those titles that will sell more in-store than it actually will uh, probably online. All right, Iron Maiden, The Number of the Beast, Over Hammerschmidt. What is this? Is this a... There's a lot of bonus material in this. The Number of the Beast, 40th Anniversary, Triple Heavyweight Vinyl, uh, eight remastered tracks featuring the intended track list with Total Eclipse. Plus, for the first time on vinyl, Beast Over Hammerschmidt. I'm guessing that is a uh, concert, right? You would think. I'm not familiar with the concert though. This kind of looks like a triple. It's a trifold, kind of like the Who's Tommy. But Beast Over Hammerschmidt, we're going to go with live concert. <laughs> it's uh, probably a good guess though. So I think this is going to be a big one. Everybody laughed at me around the store, like, why'd you get so many copies of this? I didn't get a ton, but more than one people figured that that was probably too much. But come on. Celine Dion. This is a no-brainer if you ask me. Let's talk about love. This is limited edition. This is uh, it's a little French here. De couleur orange opaque. I'm guessing that's French for this is orange vinyl. Don't hold me to that. It includes complete lyrics, album notes. Uh, let's see. Yeah. But come on, this album was an absolute smash. It's got My Heart Will Go On, the theme from Titanic. I think this will sell really well. People like Celine Dion. I mean, she sells a lot of records. Happy Now Thick, limited edition colored vinyl. This is the Indie Store exclusive. The original motion picture soundtrack to The Omen. I kind of feel like this would have been better maybe like a month and a half ago to come out. The haunting score of the classic horror on red and let's see on blood red and black splatter vinyl. So yeah, I got the uh, got the Omen soundtrack just in time for Christmas. <laughs> Come on, man. Necromicron escalation on splatter vinyl. The Born Identity, the original score. What's this? The Motion Picture Soundtrack by John Powell. Man, I'm old. I feel like I watched this in the theater. When did this come out? 2002? All right. That ain't too long ago. Let's see. Darkness. 
Defenders of Justice on HR Records. This is Splatter Vinyl. Got a little bit of a metal haul this week. Where the Crawdads Sing, a motion, uh, original motion picture soundtrack. Includes the new song from Taylor Swift. Oh man, I didn't even know that. It's like I accidentally ordered this. I think I get a, did a good job on that. That uh, Taylor Swift, uh, she's a big deal if you didn't know that. I was looking at her tour schedule. She's selling out five back-to-back -back stadium shows in cities around the country. It's, holy cow. I don't, there's no other artist alive that could do that. Johnny Adams, this is a record store day essential. Uh, the South Side of Soul Street, exclusive white vinyl. Kind of like a Record Store Day title. This is an indie Record Store Day approved only store exclusive. They make them once and then they're done. This is the, I'm pretty sure, this could be just a different version. I feel like I've got three versions of these. I don't know what I was doing. Why don't I order all? They sell though. Gotta keep telling myself the, the Gizzard Wizard Lizard sells. This is uh, changes. This is the Exploding Sun Edition. I don't remember what the version was I showed you guys uh, last week. I don't think I, I don't think I mentioned it. Grace Ives, Janky Star. So, let's see, World Party. What is that? Egyptology. Looks like a double, triple, quad. It's heavy, okay. Michi Darko, indie retail exclusive. I mean, this is a hell of a cover. Spock lost, big fat foil, in, or big fat embossing. I mean, it's hip hop, it looks like, you know, featuring Busta Rhymes. So it's not really my thing, but if it's your thing, I mean, you're getting a decent presentation here. It's not cheaply done. I Prevail, Trauma, the Indie Store Exclusive Edition. This is cool. I'm pretty sure this is a, and I think they only did 3,000 of them. I feel like, okay, so I'm totally guessing. You'll have to go online and look. I'm pretty sure this is diamonds, but I want to say this is an exclusive. They only made 3,000 of these. It's a picture disc, but it doesn't say that on there. I felt like when I read the blurb, it was limited to 3,000. For Elton John, that's an extremely low number. Any Elton John collector is going to buy this. There's only 3,000 of them, so really not enough to go around. Uh, Elton John Diamonds, which is his like greatest current greatest hits. I'm pretty sure this is the picture disc exclusive to 3,000. There's the special sticker over the barcode. Christine and the Queens. Pretty cool cover. Don't really know what this is musically, but it looks like it could be quite good. Black LP uh, with a poster. Wayne's Blood. And in the darkness, Hearts Aglow. From Sub Pop. So. Louis Tomlinson. Faith in the Future. This is the non-autographed version. Got the autographed version last week. They're gone, sold out. This is the standard version. The The Soul Mining. And originals of this are extremely hard to get now. Few and far between. But that makes sense. That makes sense to have something like this back in print. In excess, let's see. Live at the U.S. Festival, 1983. Nineteen eighty three. Billy Idol, man, what is this? I'll probably get this. I really dig Billy Idol. So this is the Cage EP. So new uh, new EP, four tracks, twelve inch EP on Dark Horse. So just so I don't get myself in trouble, we did a little censorship on this. This is the Dwarves. This is a blood, guts, and vagina, but it doesn't say that. But uh, yeah, you get the drift. 
This is the dwarves. This is a, this is the best part. Warning contains nudity, which it's a joke because it doesn't come with my censorship on it. It's a family show. Doro, fight, transparent, blue vinyl. She puts out, uh, I think her whole campaign has been, her whole back catalog was put out here recently. Disturbed, divisive. We've got Disney's Tron Legacy, reconfigured. Remixes of selections from the original motion picture soundtrack, music by Daft Punk. We've got Calexigo, Garden Rune. This is the 15th anniversary limited edition on silver and white vinyl. So I'm gonna to have to give these a listen to. So this looks really curious. This is anime jazz, all that jazz. I have no clue what these are. Uh, I feel like I, this is on P-Vine. P-Vine has been putting out some killer Japanese jazz reissues. Based on the description and the label, I took a chance, brought it in. I feel like these are gonna be quite good actually. And then I've got, that's called Original Soundtrack, All That Jazz 2. This is All That Jazz Evening. Must be good. I mean, they got to All That Jazz 2. So, you know, one you would have thought would have been mildly successful. And this is All That Jazz Ever Jazz. I feel like I ordered these so long ago. I probably listened to them. I don't know. It's tough to keep track anymore. So... Okay, two box sets, then I'll show you the Speaker's Corner reissue, re, uh, restocks. Actually, there's a couple new Speaker's Corner titles in there as well. Depeche Mode, Playing the Angel. This is the latest in the uh, series of box sets that they're doing with the singles. This is a limited edition, one and done type of deal. So I don't know if you guys have been able to hear this throughout the entire video, but the first five, six minutes of the video, there was a helicopter hovering the building. The current state of the situation here now is there's like 40 cops at the light right there. And now that, yeah, something's going on. I don't know what it is. Okay. I showed the vinyl box set last week. This is the CD box of Guns N' Roses Use Your Illusion volume one and two. This is the CD super deluxe edition. Goes for about half the price of the vinyl. Figured I'd show it to you. We've got it, it's in stock. Okay, I talked about briefly the, on, I did a video showing kind of my weekly, some of, some of the titles I'm putting into my collection. They're home, I talk about them a little bit more. I've done three of them. And I was re-watching the video after I shot it and I thought to myself, damn, I didn't really talk about this. I mentioned it in conjunction with this. Don't wanna do it again. but. This was an unbelievably great sounding record and I didn't expand upon that. It's cut by Kevin Gray from Speaker's Corner. This sounds awesome. This is a really great sounding Charles Mingus record. Oh yeah, really good. I think if, you know, if you're a Speaker's Corner fan, this is on like the upper end of the quality of what they've done. You know, who knows? Cut by Kevin Gray might be from the original master tape, but, uh, Either way, I compared this to my original. This sounds awesome. I highly recommend this. Mingus, oh yeah. Great title from Speaker's Corner in Germany. Then I showed this already on that particular video. This is Alice Coltrane's Eternity. My actual favorite Alice Coltrane album. I love this record. Came out originally on Warner. It's not her most beloved stuff like the uh, earlier uh, Impulse titles, but this is great. It's got my favorite track on it which is uh, Los Cabellos, listen to it. Angel, my wife, who refers to this as baby jazz, not this particular, because she actually likes this. This is like one of those, actually this is the only free jazz type of record that she'll listen to and not wanna wring my neck. 
she digs this record. This is an awesome record. I recommend it. Give it a listen to anyways. I recommend you at least give it a listen to. Okay, let me run through the other speakers corner restocks real quick. Those are the two new titles. Uh, they were a pain getting them. I explained it in the other video, but we're back on track with speakers corner now that they've made the adjustment. They've made the move. They're shipping like normal now. Steve McQueen, Billet, the soundtrack. We've got the Doobie Brothers, minute by minute. I think that, maybe that's a Kevin Gray cut as well. I'm not, don't quote me on it. Yosef Latif, the blue. He's been doing a lot of stuff for them lately. Leonard Bernstein, Rhapsody in Blue, the American in Paris, as well as the uh, American in Paris. Kind of a classic title from the Columbia label. Blue Oyster Colt, Tyranny. What is that? It's covered by the Tyranny. Tyranny and Mutation. We also have Charles Mingus. Pithecanthropus erectus. Fantastic album. Originally, uh, you know, on that. 50s Atlantic vinyl. Good luck finding a clean black label Atlantic record. And if you do, it's going to still play with surface noise. This is like the prime target, in my opinion, for a re you know a reissue. Donny Hathaway. Everything is everything. I mean, I've that Atlantic stuff just plays noisy. I've got the most stone mint clean original of that record, and it plays with a decent amount of surface noise. Laverne Baker sings Bessie Smith. You can actually find all these. Certain labels and catalogs are searchable by label. So if you go to the top of the website and just click search by label, you can click Speaker's Corner, and you can search everything that I have from Speaker's Corner. I think you can click a button that says Show the In Stock Only Stuff as well. Ornette Coleman, The shapes, Shape of Jazz to Come. We also have the Alan Parsons Project, Eye in the Sky. No gold foil on this. I might have to do a uh, pimp process on this as well. Maybe. We'll see. I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to commit to it. Herbie Hancock, Crossings. Love the Herbie Hancock titles they did. couple of classical titles, re, you know, restocks from the DECA catalog. España. We've got Buddy Guy and Junior Wells play the blues. So this, I'm assuming at some point is going to get released. Uh, Mobile Fidelity announced this as an upcoming one step, but from Elvis in Memphis, the king himself, Elvis Presley. Great, uh, great Elvis album. This is, uh, it's got In the Ghetto on it. I think that's the highlight of it, but this is a great, you know, kind of a rock and roll ish record. Uh, you know, he did a little bit more of the ballad type stuff come the 70s, but that's got a good kind of classic Elvis feel. Fleetwood Mac, the Pios Bird of Good Omen. We also have, oh, I love this record. Musically, this is fantastic. Swiss Movement, Les McCann and Eddie Harris, compared to what? Fantastic tune. Such a fun Great track. You've heard it before. It's like Martin Scorsese uses it on like almost every mob movie he's uh, put together. He'll put he'll bury compared to what in the in the score some uh, somewhere. Some restock on some Santana. I think I got. Oh, actually, yeah, that's. I felt like I got a few more Santanas. Earth, Wind, and Fire. That's the way of the world. I also got Ry Cooter. Self-titled.
Nina Simone, Emergency Ward. This is actually a great, great album as well. She does a uh, cover of George Harrison's My Sweet Lord on here. That's just awesome. Listen to that. If you do, you'll buy this record. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good tune. Delaney and Bonnie and Friends with Eric Clapton. Buddy of mine who was in the music business for a long time has got a fully autographed copy of this Clapton. I mean, it, it's fantastic. I see it on his wall. I'm like, oh, I want that. <laughs> I want that. Okay. Let me show you guys. I'll show you the jazz stuff next, but click the link on this. Set. This is going to be the second Whatnot auction. This is just an unbelievable collection of just pure gas. I'll run you high grade stuff in the shrink. These are all the records that everybody wants. Well, let's start with the half speed. Uh, wish you were here. All the condition grading, everything is on the whatnot description. These are already listed. I think this is going to be, this particular auction is going to be about 75 titles. They're already on there. So if you go online, every single Pink Floyd and multiple copies of every Pink Floyd record pretty much ever released. And then there's some other stuff. Like, look at this. Radioactivity, U.S. pressing, craft work. Hard to find a U.S. pressing of this record. But in shrink with the original hype sticker. This is actually a record that doesn't, it's the vinyl on this one's not in the best shape, but that cover, boy, that's a tough one. Black Sabbath, self-titled. This is like clean as a whistle, near mint, self-titled. <laughs> Extremely hard to find in that condition. Look at this. UK pressing of Dark Side of the Moon, later 70s, but still in the shrink with the sticker. Not easy to find these 70s gatefolds, especially with an album like this in the shrink. This is the desirable UK, uh, let it be. This is the 2U, 2U pressing. This was in the original box set that had the book in it. The 2U, 2Us are the, probably the most desirable. First pressing copy of the wall in the shrink. Really, really cherry copy. I mean, you got to click the link on this. This auction is wild. Japanese pressing of the wall. With the Obi. Still has the, uh, the sticker. Japanese copy of a momentary lapse of reason in this auction. With the Obi. Actually, look at that. It mentions on there. Digital recording. Mobile Fidelity, Stevie Nicks, Belladonna. Not an easy MoFi to find, actually. One of the more difficult 80s titles. Another more difficult, you know, one of the more difficult 80s titles is David Bowie's Ziggy Stardust from Mobile Fidelity. So that's going to be the later auction. It's about 75-ish titles. The early morning auction is going to be a lot more titles. This is that jazz focus consignment. Both of these are actually consignment deals I took on. Lee Morgan, the complete live at the lighthouse. This is a... Number to 2000, first pressing, sealed box set. Out of print, can't get them anymore, and they're pricey. Tons of great titles all over the board. Most of this stuff is sealed. We've got Soul Station, Hank Mobley. This is Music Matters. Sealed Music Matters stuff. There's a good chunk of this. Soul Station, sealed copy of Leeway. From Music Matters. How about the most expensive original Blue Note record you can find? And that is Hank Mobley, Blue Note 1568. Music Matters, sealed. Hugh Masekela, Analog Productions. This is a sealed copy. Definitely from the 200 gram era because this is about three years old, this copy, when he got it from me and he never opened it. Lots of cool stuff like this, like out of print, audio file stuff, originals, uh, a lot of world music, a lot of salsa. Uh, Al Di Miola, this is Friday Night in San Francisco. This is the 45 RPM version, number to 3000. This is actually a low number, 129. But uh, yeah, that's kind of a small sampling of it. Uh, the rock auction is complete. It's on the website. On whatnot, you can see everything that's going to be in it. I might add a few more. The jazz we're still working on. We got about 100 titles. We're about halfway there. But yeah, check us out online, guys. Theingroove.com. Until next time.
Domo Rarigato, Mr. Robato, Domo, Domo.